ओके हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोर ईयर साइन एंड कोस साइन इंटीग्रल्स इन आर लास्ट क्लास वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल थियोरम दिस वन वी हैव बीन प्रूव्ड इन डिटेल वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड ओके सो थ्री टाइ थ्री स्टाइल्स ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑल्सो वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर दी फोर ईयर साइन एंड कोस साइन इंटीग्रल्स फ्रॉम फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल थियोरम वी नो दैट वन बाई पाए हियर यू कैन सी वन बाई पाए जीरो टू इन्फिनेटी माइनस पाए टू पाए एफ ऑफ टी कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस एक्स बी ओमेगा इन टू डी टी दैट फ्रॉम दैट दैट थिंग्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव इन डिस्कस्ड इन आर फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल थियोरम एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रूफ और अकॉर्डिंग टू फोर ईयर इंटीग्रल थियोरम थियोरम एफ एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न इन दिस फॉर्म That implies f x equal to one by pi zero to infinity minus into plus infinity f of t cos. This omega can be multiplied with this and this omega t minus omega x d omega d t. So this is the nothing but cos a minus b will be written as cos a into cos b plus sine a into sine b format cos omega t cos omega x plus sine omega t into sine omega x d omega d t. Now I am going to segregate with two terms. Double integration zero to infinity minus infinity plus infinity already one by pi is there. f of t this term plus 1 by pi double integration this term d omega dt d omega dt let this is your equation number 1 consider case 1 when f of t is a odd function then equation number 1 will be carefully you have to watch f of t is a odd function see even even function this things uh, you you already know that even into even is your even even into odd is your odd odd into even function that means odd Odd into odd will be even. Okay. Now consider equation number one carefully. Okay. Here f of t means function of t. So in your equation number one, your cos omega t f of t we are going to consider. We are not going to consider omega omega x cos omega x. Okay. So cos omega t is your even function. If I will be multiplied f of t is your odd function. So this entire function will be a odd. So minus infinity plus infinity. Uh, if integration we are going to do this, then this value will be zero. And here f of t is your odd function. Sine omega t is your odd function. So this entire will be a even. And uh, and integrating with t, that means minus infinity to plus infinity can be possible. So when f of t is an odd function, then equation number one will be this term will be cancelled out, and we are going to found one by pi zero to infinity minus zero to infinity f of t sine omega t sine omega x d omega d t. So it can be rewritten as one by pi zero to infinity sine omega x d omega minus zero to plus infinity f of t sine omega t d t. So this is nothing but called as your four year sine integral. Likewise, whenever we are going to consider f of t is a even function, then Here, even into odd will be odd. This term will be cancelled out. Only this term will be remaining, and we are going to get f of x will be one by pi cos omega x d omega zero to infinity minus infinity plus infinity f of t cos omega t d t, and this will be called as your what four year cosine integral. So this expression, two expressions, you have to remember for your numericals. Okay, now we are going to go for the four year complex integral. Uh, sometimes this proved asked your you know in your exam and i am going to be recall one thing that for your integral theorem also six mark question you can found in your exam right these two 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 theorems or two proofs so here for your complex integral is represented as fx equal to 1 by 2 pi minus infinity plus infinity e to the power minus i omega x d omega minus infinity plus infinity f of t e to the power i omega t dt this is nothing but called as the re representation of four year complex integral of a function fx okay now we have to prove this one we know that if fx is an odd function then integration minus a to a f of x dx is zero Hence, minus infinity plus infinity sine omega t minus x d omega will be zero because sine function is a odd function. Now, that implies i by two pi, i by two pi. So, considering this equation, multiplied we multiplied i by two pi minus infinity infinity f of t d t both the side with l h s and r h s. Okay, i by two pi multiplied. I by two pi into minus infinity plus infinity integration f of t dt multiplied with this side 
and multiply to the right side means it will be automatically zero. So it will be i by two pi minus infinity f of t dt into minus infinity plus infinity integration sine omega t minus x d omega equal to zero. Let this is your equation number one. Here I written by multiplying this both the side. We know the Fourier integral of f of x is nothing but f of x equal to one by two pi. Here you can see minus infinity plus infinity cos omega t minus x into d omega. This one. 1 by 2 pi minus infinity plus infinity cos omega t minus x d omega into minus infinity plus infinity f of t dt. We know that already. <coughs> Or f x equal to 1 by pi 1 by 2 pi. This two integral can be written uh, nearby and f of t cos omega t minus x d omega dt. Same thing. Okay. Now we have to add equation number one and two. These two uh, equations now we are going to add. F x Plus zero will be f x and this left left hand side and its corresponding right hand side I have been added. So here one by two pi is there one by two pi this much I have been written this one i by two pi i by two pi and this much double integration is there minus infinity plus infinity f of t dt written minus infinity plus infinity sine omega t minus x uh, d omega also written f x equal to that implies f x equal to one by two pi minus infinity plus infinity f of t dt Taken common from these two terms, we can find minus infinity plus infinity cos omega t minus x d omega d t cos omega x uh, omega t minus x only d t taken with f of t outside. So cos omega t minus x plus i uh, into sine omega t minus x d omega. So f of x equal to one by two pi in uh, integration of minus infinity plus infinity f of t dt and this one is nothing but e to the power i omega t minus x because we know that e to the power i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta so this is in the form of cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as e to the power i theta means i omega t minus x d omega so here we found uh, here Here you can see that i omega minus x taken outside like this. Uh, if I will take outside, then f of x will be written as one by two pi minus infinity plus infinity e to the power minus i omega x from this term taken outside into d omega. This is one integral. Another integral is your f of t dt multiplied with e to the power i omega t. So minus infinity plus infinity f of t into e to the power i omega t dt. Hence proved what we intend to prove. Okay. So this is this is the representation of Fourier complex integral of a function f x that you have to remember, which is required to uh, uh, to find out the Fourier transform of a function and Fourier inverse transformation also. Okay. So uh, in our next class, we are going to uh, solve some numericals uh, uh, um, based on Fourier sine and cosine integral and Fourier integral. Okay. So. Here, these basic or important integrals that you have to remember, which will be useful at the time of solving the numericals. That is your zero to infinity sine a x by x d x equal pi by two e to the minus x square d x equal root pi by two. This can be solved by type four method. Cauchy's residue theorem. If you remember, this problem is already we have been done. Okay, type four method. Uh, type four method. Okay, and this is your gamma function. And this is your zero to infinity sine m x by x minus b square plus a square d x equal to pi by a into e to the minus a m into sine b m. And this is the two important uh, integrals that you have to also remember e to the a x cos b x d x e to the a x sine b x d x. Here you can see this term is same for both e to the a x by a square plus b square e to the a x by a square plus b square. But here a cos b x plus b sine b x here a sine b x minus b cos b x. So I suggest to you just remember these four, four five uh, important integrals, which which are useful for your uh, numericals. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.